Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending you all love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with every Libra and it will not resonate with every Libra, Libra cross watcher. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. If you have someone rising or Venus placements in Libra or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this could resonate with you. Take a moment to please read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. And don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. If you're interested in collective readings, you can find the links in the description box. Libra. What's going on with my Libra collective? Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We have the Tower, Scorpio energy. We have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the Six of Cups. The Six of Pentacles. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Heavy Sag energy here. We have Five of Wands. And we have the Hermit Virgo energy. Back of the deck, we have the King of Wands. Aries Leo, more Aries Leo Sag energy. Okay. So, what does this Queen of Wands have to do with my Libra Collective? Okay, the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Wands, the Three of Wands. Hmm, you guys have maybe been waiting for someone to take some type of action towards you. Yeah, to grow up. You guys have been waiting for somebody to grow up and meet you at your level. To like show the same amount of energy or passion or action and effort that you put in something balanced. Six of Pentacles. You have a lot of passion for this person. And I feel like you have invested a lot into this person. Okay. Um, but I feel like they're not at quite at your level or giving to the situation in the same way that you do. And you guys have been maybe trying to manifest or try to wait for this person to reciprocate. What is up with this non-reciprocal energy that's coming through in the readings and imbalance in the connection? So there was some type of tower moment here. What, tell me more about this tower, the page of cups, and where this person wants to apologize to you for some type of tower moment that happened between the two of you. Something was maybe found out here with the page of swords or they're watching you. This person can maybe be watching you doing very, maybe it's a tower moment to this person seeing you doing so well without them. They're watching you and they're seeing you do it very well for yourself, seeing you be very successful. And it's kind of really triggering to this person. I'm going to just be honest with you. I definitely feel like they're watching you, keeping tabs on you. And that's why they're wanting to come in with this apology, try to heal this connection with the star Aquarius energy in the temperance. That's reconciliation energy or them wanting to have something balanced. When maybe in the past it wasn't balanced. All right, tell me about this King of Swords. The Eight of Wands, there's definitely communication coming in about Seven of Cups. What about the Seven of Cups? Sorry, guys, somebody's out there revving an engine or something. Um, they're confused on if you have new love. What does this have to do with my Libra's death? I feel like this person wants to know if you're done and if you've moved on. I, that's what I'm feeling like. This person wants to know if you're done with them for good and if you've moved on to new love. They want to, they're confused or they want to bring clarity to the situation. Tell me about the five of wands, the hanged man. Yeah, they're looking at something differently. What about the five wands? They were conflicted, but tell me about the nine of pentacles, the three of cups. 
And now what? The Page of Pentacles. Okay, what about the Page of Pentacles? Now it's, it's like they're feeling like the lovers. They know that they gave very little to this connection. It's like now this person's realizing that, but why the Nine of Pentacles? Why the Nine of Pentacles? Justice? And what's the Three of Cups? The Nine of Swords. I feel like this person worries that you have somebody else. Why are they worried about the Three of Cups? They're losing sleep over this. Yeah, they're they're worried that maybe you're getting offers from other people or that somebody else has offered you what they should have offered you, something stable and committed. Why is the Nine of... Justice and the Nine of Pentacles. The Moon. What's the Moon? The Eight of Cups. This person is afraid that you have completely walked away from them and that I feel like that you guys have new love. Eight of Swords, they can't stop obsessing over this or get out of their head about this. But what is, tell me more about what this conflict is, Spirit. What's the conflict? They're, they've been conflicted about their feelings for you. Tell me more about it. You can hear from this person in two weeks. Spirit just said to me, for some of you, Seven of Wands, this person's been very guarded or like, uh, Like maybe even suppressing their emotions or their feelings or very guarded. So they haven't been really coming to terms with their feelings for you. So what does this mean for the present? What's this mean for the present? The Ten of Pentacles though. Okay. What's this mean for my Libras? The devil. What about the devil? The world. What is the Ten of Pentacles for this person? They want to have a new stable beginning with you. Now they want to come in and offer you that stability and want to build something long term with you. But what's the devil? in the world the page of wands okay and what the king of wands they're taking action towards you now and communicating that they've maybe they've closed out some type of toxic cycle so what's this mean for this connection the high priestess and the three of swords what does this mean for my libras the knight of wands your intuition is telling you that you can't trust this person that this person is going to ultimately break your heart that maybe you can't take them seriously. That they're still a player. They're still unstable. Yeah. So listen to your intuition. When this person comes back towards you. They're going to be coming towards you. Saying they want to offer you commitment. Something stable. But Spirit says your intuition is going to be telling you otherwise. And that you're going to need to listen to that. Alright. Tell me about the Six of Cups. They've been Somebody's been trying to heal from something that happened to them in the past. King of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Yeah. It's like they've been trying to... Yeah, in the past, this person was very immature, but we have the King of Wands. So I'm talking about this King of Wands, the Seven of Swords. Yeah, beware of this person returning and tell, they're going to come back and tell you that they have changed. They have grown. They have matured. But the Seven of Swords, this person is being deceptive. It's not the truth. They're lying to you. They're trying to deceive you or manipulate you. Mm-mm. Tell you about the Hermit. So it's best to not speak to this person or withdraw from them. Are you going to have to really listen to your inner guidance because it's going to tell you the truth of the situation? Tell you what this means. Yeah, six of swords that you need to move on from this. Spirit is saying you need to move on from this person, withdraw from this situation. It's going to be very clear or it's going to become very clear. Tell you about the, why is it going to become clear? That you're going to maybe find out that this person's still juggling or they're just still very un, imbalanced, like not stable. Queen of swords and that you're going to have to set boundaries with this person. The Hierophant, Taurus, Energy, and the Devil. Yeah, you getting into a commitment with this person would be toxic. Or this person, somebody has been in some type of toxic marriage or connection. But they're going to tell you that it's over. But why do I, this person's not being honest with you to some degree. There's something that they're not going to be telling you about the situation. Mm -mm. Okay. One card about more to reveal what this person's hiding from my Libra collective. What is it that they're not being honest with about with that seven of swords energy? What are they going to be keeping from my Libra collective? That they're no longer toxic, that they've ended a marriage or a commitment. Secrets. I was keeping our relationship a secret and I just got tired of hiding it. My inner circle wouldn't understand. Back of the deck, we have 
immature. I was trying to impress my friends by showing them I didn't care. I didn't want to appear weak to them. Okay. <laughs> so where is this headed, spirit? Is this headed anywhere? We have it's up to them fear of the unknown is causing stagnation let them lead the way timing is uncertain and then we have uncertainty on the back of the deck not knowing how you feel about them makes them hold back their feelings they want certainty if you make the first move what's the long-term potential of this relationship or what's going to happen in the long run we have driven by jealousy the thought of you being with someone else drives them crazy. By the next full moon, you can hear from this person. And then we have ego death. The journey wasn't easy. They're fully aware of their mistakes and want to make things right. Winter time can be significant. And let's get you some advice about this, dealing with this person or this situation. advice for my Libras in dealing with this person don't worry whether or not they are ignoring you the way you, to stop feeling ignored is to get busy with your own life focus on you all right one more when you throw the trash out do you go outside later to check and see how it's doing no stop stalking your ex obsessed and we have you can't force chemistry to exist where it doesn't know when to get off when the ride ends ride is over so spirit saying is maybe saying that this is just a done deal with you and this person you know, it was it was meant to be in your life for a season, but that season has is over now. Um, time to let this person go. You're a little bit too focused on this person, and it's time to release them. I feel like that's going to be coming very clear with that Ace of Swords energy coming through. All right, guys. So this is what I have for you. I hope that this reading gave you some clarity. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. Um, and don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. I hope you guys have a good rest of your night and I will talk to you soon. Bye.